Hey everybody, my name is Elsie. Today I'm going to make uh, my famous tea. Uh, this tea I discovered, there's a little background that I'm going to share with you. Very, very short, but I think at some point I'm going to put more information somewhere about this tea. Uh, I was having a hard time with just the colds and how to take care of colds with children and the, and I didn't know what to do. And this came to me as an inspiration, the whole ingredients. As you are looking right here, we have um, garlic, peeled garlic already. And I'm going to talk about the measurements of this. And here we have uh, sliced uh, lemons and we have crushed garlic already right here. And that's honey. And this is celestial tea, which is um, Wild, wild berry zinger. I use two kinds, wild berry zinger and also raspberry zinger. So this tea came to me as a real like a, a, a struggle because I was tired of children being sick and taking them to the hospital and I didn't know what to do. And I was given these ingredients and I was shown how to make it. I had to do many trials and errors try and come with the real right recipe that I'm using now as a recipe. Um, so the first thing into this whole making of this is peeling the garlic. The garlic you need uh, one, one or one and a half cloves of garlic, you know that whole thing. Sometimes people they think this is a clove. This is not a clove. A clove is the whole thing of garlic, if anybody knows garlic. That whole thing that's a clove one and a half of that you peel it then you take it and you put it inside this thing here and you crush it maybe you don't have this I don't know most likely maybe you don't have this kind of thing but I prefer this I don't prefer cutting because cutting somehow it doesn't bring all the juices I believe that you get and also as you go further with the uh, recipe and making it you want to make sure that everything in the garlic comes out and into the water so these are the substance this is the same one I have already prepared right here and already you need four lemons that's what you need four, four lemons regular lemons and then you need honey you want a cup maybe a cup and a half. And when I say cup, I have found out many people, they say, would you like a cup of coffee? They are giving you a mug. A mug is not a cup. This is a cup, okay? A mug, actually this goes twice in a mug, a regular mug. So I'm not talking about a mug. I'm talking about a cup, one and a half. And uh, you know, depending on the taste, if you have little children, because I give this tea, to little children it's safe it's okay i haven't had any issue with it it's just all natural ingredients and everything is good for anybody so if you think the child can drink it a little bit better with a little bit more honey no big deal you can add more honey you can do that and i'm going to take these lemons and i'm going to put them into the boiling so i put two jugs this jug, just jugs I found out it's a half gallon. This size jug of water, it's a half gallon. So I put two half gallon, meaning a gallon of water. And this is the water that is already here, almost boiling. And I start with my lemons. And the lemons they're gonna boil on high for at least I would say just like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they'll boil on high. And then I'll reduce the heat and I'll let them sort of like simmer on low. And meanwhile, I'll be adding some other ingredients. So we'll take a break right now. Okay, right now while we are waiting for the boiling, I think this first part is longer. And as we add the ingredients, it's going to be shorter and shorter and shorter until we finish the uh, program. Uh, right now, I want to just share with you uh, a little uh, testimony, sort of. Unfortunately, the testimony is from me, but it's real. Um, I was, um, I got sick, real sick, like I had a fever. Like, 
it was like I think about a hundred and three when I went home and um, and checked it. I was in a classroom. I was teaching at that point, and I was in a classroom, and I I was I was just so sick that day. I endured the, through the day, and when I went home, the first thing I could think of was I need to make the tea, and I need to um, pretty much drink the tea. And I made the tea, I struggled to make the tea, I made it, and I drank, I drank in a row, I drank three, I think that time was muggy cups, as I was, I'm telling you, so in a sense, I almost like chuckled up about six cups, regular cups. I drank three cups in a row, pretty much that night, that night to the next morning. I drank about six cups because I was so desperate to try and take care of this. And the next morning, literally, I coughed up something that looked like was just stuck on my throat. It wasn't a regular mucus. It was something that was like thick, like something come out of my my throat that I could tell my throat was like there was room there that was created and um, prior to that I have been told you have a lamp here and they had done a few tests and they were about to go to do a bio bi biopsy where they check inside there to see if it is a cancer lamp or whatever and from that day literally I never be told again I had anything on my throat. So I don't I don't mean this testimony is like this is what it is. It's not stone. But I can say this. This tea works for a number of different things. It's just a good tea. And I can't tell you like I'm a doctor this works for this and that and that and that. But I know that in my family uh, for the last I would say now 20 years I haven't, nobody has gone to the doctor for a cold, even a bad cold. Nobody has really gone to the doctor for that. Everybody, we take care of ourselves with this tea. So that is, um, I would say, is valuable to my family, as I hope it will be valuable to you once you learn it and you manage to do it the right way. So now we are going to take another break, and then I'm going to show you what's going on in the pot there, how it's boiling, and we are going to add our garlic, and we wait again, and we'll keep moving. Okay, thank you. Okay, now, as you can see, the lemons have all fell down. That means they're well cooked. They are down there. The water is still shimmering, sort of. It's still, like, boiling, but not boiling high. And now, I'm going to add this crushed garlic so now they are going to boil together before i could add anything that's the garlic right there it's still on top because it has to boil until it also go down we are going to wait again another 15 minutes and uh, we will add the tea and the honey they kind of come together and the whole process will be done and we can show you the finished product at the end but right now we are going to wait 15 minutes to just again on a very slow uh, motion kind of boiling, it's shimmering, boiling. Okay, thank you. Now I am going to add the um, 10 bags of tea, these bags here, I have 10 of these, you know, and um, I'm going to add the honey. And I can start with the 10 bags of tea into the pot. There they go into that boiling ingredients. As you can see, it's boiling nicely, 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 slowly. That's all steam there. And I left two, two more out of the 10. And occasionally it's good kind of steer the whole thing <laughs> just kind of steer with that big wooden spoon just kind of like uh, you can see that tea start oozing inside as it is boiling that tea is oozing and I'm going to, again to do the same thing leave it for just a few minutes because I don't want to put the honey when it's still boiling. So 
I'm going to leave it boiling for just a few minutes and we are going to add our honey. This is the last piece of the whole thing. I'm going to be taking this cup of honey and I'm be pouring the honey inside the tea. The whole cup is going to go inside here and I'll just stir with that wooden spoon that I've shown you and I will stir it gentle, just stir gentle. And as you can see how the colors really change and they're looking thick reddish uh, maroonish color that is really delicious and desirable to drink and um, from this point on we don't need much time the tea will be done and um, it's this process um, actually the whole process like I say takes at least an hour to an hour and a half depending on how much water was in the pot but the process takes that long because it has to get to boil everything has to boil like real to the to the last piece of it real soft everything so that all the juices from everything the lemon the garlic the tea every juice has to ooze out into this water and as you drink it it's going to be like a little tangish nice real sweet and nice and just soothing actually you don't feel like you're drinking a tea of healing but this is a healing tea actually okay yeah so we just finished the tea and here I am I have the tea nice brood it's good I think I'm going to add a little bit of honey I might add a half a cup of honey that will take the take care of it and uh, it will be delicious ready to go and uh, one of my daughter here is already sick so they're going to be drinking this tea um, usually I'd make a big bunch like that so everybody can drink and prevent and all that because it builds your immune system pretty much you know if the cord is going around then you know if you drink it then you kind of prevent the whole big thing hitting on you okay if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so we have a lot of different things this is also like a cultural thing in a way because you know this is how in the countryside in zimbabwe most people they heal themselves through these natural things so it's part of like a cultural thing so enjoy See you next time. Bye.